Good morning, YouTube. Um, welcome to an impromptu uh, segment of Cooking with Denoy. I didn't really plan on making this video, but then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? People may actually be interested in um, how I actually cook and stuff and, and how I manage my time. Um, it is, I think, what, Tuesday or Wednesday morning? I think it's Tuesday morning. Um, Anyhow, I had uh, some business, some errands to do and run around, and I decided I would go ahead and cook while I was driving. So, I went ahead and made the rice already. I, I didn't bother opening up the back or anything. I'm cooking inside the vehicle as I'm driving around town. But you can see the rice is up there. I've got the um, rice cover upside down there. But the rice is already cooked, and that was cooked while I was driving around town. And then I um, uh, started up the bacon right now. So the bacon is cooking right now while I have the vehicle running, and I've arrived at my destination, so I'll finish the cooking here. Basically, I'm going to have um, rice, bacon, and eggs for breakfast, and I'm going to be having it here at the park over here at um, the O'Galley Library. I'm just off um, State Road 518, I think is what they call it. But uh, this is the O'Galley Library, and it's got like a pavilion, gazebos, and uh, picnic benches. I hope I hope you can hear me with all this noise. They're they're doing uh, lawn maintenance around this area. But uh, right near this park, right here behind, is the library. So after I finish eating brunch, I'll be going into the library to get some work done, and um, then later on, I got to do a repair. As you can see, um, my bar here that I use to hold up my um, curtains has broken because when I was crawling in and out I think I landed on this thing and it pulled it down and, and basically broke the bar so I bought another one from Walmart it's not black unfortunately because they didn't have any black ones but um, it was only like a dollar fifty seven and it's a 28 to, 28 to 48 inch heavy-duty curtain rod and basically, I'll be using it to um, to replace this other one here. So maybe we'll do a segment on that so you can see how the repair is done. Anyhow, the uh, bacon has popped up. So I'm going to flip it, move it out, and cook it up some more. Then get it and the rice and um, add some eggs. And I should be set to go. As you can see, I've moved the, uh, the cooking unit up onto my um, little mini fridge cooler thingy here up front. So I can have better access to it while I cook up front. Since I'm not driving right now, it's okay to put it up here. Um, the bacon is fairly well cooked. Doesn't it look good? So I'm going to be taking it out here in a minute. I think I might heat it up and run it on high just for a little bit more. And then um, I'll be taking the bacon out and then adding the eggs. Uh, I think I'm just going to make some um, eggs uh, sunny side up. As you can see, I've now removed the, um, the bacon from our cooking unit here. And I have my rice up there. Um, it's a little cramped working in here, but it's doable. I mean, I can do this without actually, I can cook and eat without even getting out of the vehicle. Um, there's um, the bacon and the rice right there. All we're waiting on is the eggs now. So I'm just going to put in a couple of eggs, set it on high and let that cook. And voila, breakfast is served. As you can see, I've uh, cracked open two eggs and I put them inside the um, rice cooker here. I left the bacon fat in there to help cook the, uh, the eggs. Um, I suppose you could just throw in seasoning right now if you wanted to season the eggs, but I'm not going to season it. I'm just going to let it cook up, and um, I'll be putting um, fish sauce on it. As you know, I am Asian, so um, instead of using salt or pepper or whatever to season the eggs, I'm going to let it cook up. I'll probably put the lid on it here to help it cook better, and then just serve it um, with fish sauce on top of it, and then have that with the bacon and the rice. And that'll be my breakfast today. Brunch, really. Because it's, uh, it's almost 11 p.m. right now. It's 10.40, 10.40 a.m. Not 11 p.m., I mean 11 a.m. It's uh, 10.40 right now, 10.40 a.m. Well, while the egg is still cooking here, I um, thought I'd take a moment to answer some questions some um, viewers may have about how the whole system, um, how effective or efficient the system is. As you can see, uh, my gas is still on full. I just filled it up um, last night, and I've been driving around a little bit. Um, and um, basically, running the vehicle on idle does not really use that much gasoline. I mean, it uses some, but 
not much at all. I think I think a gallon's worth of gasoline, I could probably cook about 10 to 15 meals. That's like uh, $2 and about $2. Right now gas price is about $2 a, uh, a gallon, $2.10 around here, $2.05. But it's about $2 to cook, uh, cook about 10 meals. So I think that's fairly cheap. Um, I don't even know, that's just a rough calculation. But uh, the other thing is, like today, I didn't just run the car idle to cook. I was actually driving around on business, uh, trying to, you know, just do some errands and stuff. So cooking was a side effect or a benefit. Um, I was able to cook while I was driving, so I cooked the rice. I cooked the bacon. Now I am actually not driving right now. I'm cooking the eggs right now while I'm idling, and this will be done in like a minute here. You can see the eggs like fairly done now. I just need to flip it real quick, and then um, I can have my um, my brunch. Alrighty, this breakfast may not look like the prettiest breakfast in the world, but it is a very hearty and tasty breakfast, at least for me. It's got my rice, and I've got my bacon, and I've got my eggs, and all that I'm missing right now is my fish sauce, which I'll put on there. Then I'm going to go eat at the picnic table. I also have some cold orange juice inside this cooler unit, which I'll be taking with me. So it is a wonderful brunch. Bon appetit, everybody. Have a great day. And um, hopefully you found this uh, video informational and um, can see the feasibility of actually cooking with an inverter system. As long as you use a, um, a small wattage device such as a rice cooker which only requires um, 300 watts. Take care now. Before I sign off I thought I'd go ahead and point out something else um, that might be um, helpful. Uh, some of you notice I seem to drink a lot of orange juice. The reason I drink so much orange juice is for the vitamin C. It's about I think what is it two dollars a liter or is it two liters? Um, and I go through about uh, one carton of orange juice every day or every other day and I've been drinking it a lot because I don't get a lot of vegetables and stuff like that so I, I get the country style with the pulp in it and um, it's got a lot of vitamin C and I think that's helping me to, to stay healthy while I'm out here um, and as you can see this is like a really great spot to have um, brunch there's a little blue over there in the distance uh, where I just finished cooking I didn't bother opening it up to cook outside and just cook um, completely on the inside cab area just to show you that it can be done I do um, sometimes cook in there when it's raining or the weather's bad or in a situation like this where I'm driving around um, and I'm just out here to enjoy this view it's a terrific view there's a nice cool breeze because we're right off the Indian River and I even have Wi-Fi connection out here so I can eat my brunch surf the web and just relax a little bit before I try to get some work done. And after that, I think I'm going to head over to the beach. Uh, I'm going to try to um, chill out around the beach area. So, I may go ahead and do my um, my curtain repair here before I head out, though. Because, um, you know, it's, it's a nice area. I don't think people are going to come up and harass me. Um, and um, just going to be a great day today.